What is going on guys? I hope you're having a wonderful day and today we are going to go to Auto Haas up in Patterson, New Jersey because I need to pick up some parts that I broke in my car. Now, I didn't include it in the video, but if you haven't checked it out, go check out the video of me finally running the lines on the car i uploaded that about a week ago and while i was doing that while i was taking the car apart since i do have that problem with the hood just not opening up and not popping up i had to keep pulling the uh handle release the uh, interior hood latch release i ended up breaking the interior hood latch release so basically today we're gonna go pick up the interior hood latch release i'm also gonna replace the cable that goes into the car from a newer cc a 2013 cc and then i'm also gonna replace the hood latch so that way it can finally pop up So basically what I want to do is that I want to go get a new hood latch so that way the hood is able to pop up and replace the latch including the metal wire that connects to it because I might as well replace it with something new that's a little bit tighter and something that's going to be good for another for another long time. Okay so let me go ahead head over to Auto House in Patterson and I'll see you guys when I get there. Okay so we are here at Auto House up in Patterson. I'm going to go ahead and go inside and I get all my parts and then I'll see you guys when I'm back at home. Here we go, this is the hood latch. Hopefully this is gonna pop up the hood. And then I also finally got this piece right here. This piece was a steel because the wire and like this whole housing here, OEM, brand new, probably goes for like, I don't know, close to a hundred bucks just to be able to put that in. So honestly, if you can find recycled parts, go ahead and do it. A special shout out to Auto House up here in Patterson, New Jersey. You guys hooked it up especially with these parts because I needed it badly all right so let me go ahead home and uh, get to it okay so it's actually two days later after I got the parts because as I was driving home it started raining I wasn't able to do it we had a very very bad rainstorm for the past two days and it is supposed to rain today but I am gonna take the opportunity to, uh, early this morning. I think it's like nine o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and get those parts replaced. Hopefully I get everything done. And I also, I do apologize for the noise. The neighbors down the street, they're getting a uh, tree removed. I, I believe that it uh, might've fell into their backyard. So they're just gonna get rid of that. So I do apologize for the noise. Another note, we have a bunch of gravel on the driveway. So that's why I'm doing it on the street. And I'm gonna look even more crazier to everyone that's walking around with their dogs at nine o'clock in the morning but stuff you do for content right let me go ahead dive right into it we're gonna start with the interior hood release latch that's gonna be the easiest the only thing i have to do is just replace the uh, the little section there i'm gonna keep the wire off to the side because the wire still works i do know that i do know that the hood latch is going to be the problem but i'm gonna replace the wire just in case it snaps so that way i have a backup but even if it does snap that's gonna be a pain because i won't be able to pop the hood but Okay, so there is this little section right here. Right here is basically where it broke. Let me go ahead and show you guys. Basically, this little guy right here broke off and I wasn't able to open the hood, but luckily it is easy to remove. The one thing that I also found out while taking it apart is that this guy pops right off just like that. Go ahead and let's put that right there. And then this comes right off as well. So if you guys have a broken interior hood latch release, that's a little uh, little nifty uh, thing that I learned because I thought it this was just one piece, but it's not. So this goes on like that and then it'll be good. Now there are going to be two T20 torques right over there. I actually put them in over here that they need to get screwed in. Okay, so it's going to be one guy over here and then another one right there. Before we even do that, I do want to go ahead and get this wire going, just like that. There's this little clip right here that this guy presses down. Press down, Ugh, press down just like that. And now this is ready to get installed. Do have two screws right here, one up here. So we're gonna go ahead and start screwing this guy in. Okay, so this guy is gonna come up in here, this little section right there. Screwing this in. Another guy right over here. Find that little hole. And then just start threading it in, just like that. 
Then you can go ahead and then grab your ratchet and then finish it all the way. You don't want it super tight, just nice and snug. Okay, so once you have that uh, screwed in, I'm gonna go ahead and this, gonna grab this, and then I'm gonna stick the clip in through the back, just like that, and then you should be good. Now what I'm going to do before I even put this back together, I have the piece right here, it just clips on just like that. This part needs to go under her butt. I'll show you guys how to put that back together. What I want to do is that I want to replace the hood latch first before continuing on. Okay, so now that we have the hood open, it took me a little longer than it should, but there's going to be one, two, three, and four torques that you're going to need to be able to get out. We are going to have to remove this front bumper cover which is very loosely on because the car's old and clips break and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove all of those. Now, next thing you're gonna wanna do is pop the grill off. Then if you have, if you don't have parking sensors, you don't have to worry about this part right here. But if you do have parking sensors, you are gonna need to pop these guys off. Okay, now that will give us clearance to be able to get this little section right here. Okay, so now there are going to be three more bolts. One, two, three right here that hold on the, uh, the latch. Those are going to be T30s. You're going to want to take those off and remove them. And then you want to stay organized, so I'm just putting it in the order that I removed it. to do is just hook everything up I went ahead and replaced that harness with this harness over here because this is a harness that came with the car and this will also let you know the hood is open or closed then just to make sure that this works I'm gonna go ahead and press this down because all it is is just a small little button now if we go inside the car yep lets us know that the hood is closed and then if we go ahead and pop it should tell us that the hood is open yep it tells us that the hood is open okay so now we know that that function works now all we gotta do is just finagle this wire out there we go squeeze this guy through should be able to pop off just like so Get rid of this guy, that guy can now finally slide out through here. Okay, so now that we have this set free, go ahead and attach this guy over here, slide that guy in through there. Okay, so now we should be able to feed it through. Is it coming? Over here, perfect. Get that guy start screwing this guy in and then I'm gonna grab the other one and then grab the last long bolt whatever I do with it right here now what I am going to do is just so I know it works I'm going to go ahead and have this guy screw it in I'm nervous I'm real nervous I don't know if this is gonna work or not now let's see let's see if this works I hope it works I really hope it works Oh, thank God. Oh my God, that was such a pain. I'm so happy that I finally got it to work though. Go ahead and slide this guy back into place. Get this guy hooked on over here, just like that. Now that's out of the way. Tuck this under. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten this up, make sure that it still works, make sure that I have no problems with the uh, connector. All right, so we should be good to put this thing back together. Let's go in here, here, over here. That guy back into place. Screw right there, clip, clip. I'm gonna grab the front bumper cover right here. Connect the parking sensors. Slide this into place. I'm gonna grab the four screws, screw it down. So that way I can hold in the top. Now 
my god finally it pops up it has been such a long time since it has been able to just pop up on its own without someone like just banging it right here in order to break it loose but oh my god ever since i bought the car that one strut was always broken i replaced that like a long time ago like a week after running the car but the hood was something that i actually have not replaced in a long time well not the hood itself just the uh, hood release latch and i am so happy i finally got that because it has been such a pain just running back and forth live like holding down the, the release in here inside the car and then just letting it go slowly just to hear it lock again it has been such such a pain and oh my god i'm so happy that i finally got that done because that's going to make working on the car a lot more easier it's definitely going to make it easier for when i go and do stuff under the hood with the text and honestly i'm so happy that i finally got that done it is hot today it is blazing now i'm going to show you guys how to put this guy back on it's just taking like a key find the little slot in the back and then just popping this guy off then you'll be able to remove this guy you are going to need to pop this up it's just clips really so just pop it up just a little bit the only thing you really need to do is just slide this into place it goes under here get this guy out of the way set it up just like that you want to grab this little guy over here just press it back down Then you want to grab the little handle, slide the handle back into place, and then super tight, but pull it and then slide it. And now everything is nice and snug. Go ahead and check it out one more time. Yep. And the hood is popped up. Oh my god, I am so happy so that is how you fix and replace your hood latch and your interior hood latch release i'm probably just gonna put hood latch in the title because it's, it's honestly if i put the whole thing of what i replace it's gonna be a really long title so if you guys own a volkswagen cc that's older and you have this problem you might want to go ahead and follow the steps to replace it if you do have the wire that ended up breaking i didn't replace mines but i do know that eventually since it is rusting out it is going to get replaced i don't have the one that goes from the hood latch on the outside over to the inside where it kind of like connects together so eventually i'm going to make a video on how to replace that so i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial make sure to leave a like comment subscribe press the notification bell if you want to hear more from me and i'll see you in the next video I find it hard to describe my anxiety Feel like my heart and my mind got a rivalry Feel like my thoughts and emotions are fighting inside of me I gotta get the shit out of me I feel like force, I'm running from everything I never saw this shit in its entirety If you need someone to get something 90% done and quit on it You should decide